Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us for Recommence, the Saunders College of Business Alumni Awards. My name is Corinne Endress, and I work in RIT's Office of Alumni Relations, and I will be one of your hosts this evening. Before we kick off the program, I'd like to review a few housekeeping items. This evening's program is hosted via the Zoom webinar platform, where only our panelists and hosts will be broadcasting via video and audio. The audience will be muted, so panelists will need to unmute their microphones when promoted on screen. I want to take a moment to recognize and thank our sign language interpreters, Jen Mira and Kirsten Burkowski, and captionist Nancy Rivera for being with us today. If you have any questions or if you would like to share any positive messages of congratulations, please feel free to enter them into the chat, which is located at the bottom of the screen. This award ceremony will be recorded, and you'll be receiving an email with a link to the recording in the upcoming weeks. If you have any technical questions during the program, please feel free to type those into the chat box and we'll do our best to get you the appropriate answers that you need. Each honoree received a celebration box that was delivered to their home, which included their personalized award and some fun RIT items to enjoy. Awardees, please, please feel free to show your award during the program. So with that, I'm very pleased to introduce our MC, Anthony Testa. Anthony is a proud 1996 Saunders College of Business MBA alumnus director of Simone Center Commercialization Training at RIT and member of the Saunders College of Business's Dean's Council and Advisory Board. Anthony, take it away. Thanks, Corinne. Good afternoon, RIT Tigers. It is my pleasure to welcome you here for Recommence, an opportunity to honor our 2020 College Alumni Awardees and celebrate the innovative and energetic spirit of Saunders College of Business. We had hoped to recognize our awardees in person during this Brick City Homecoming weekend, but due to dynamic public health concerns, we have virtually gathered here today. We are thrilled that you could join us to honor seven outstanding members of the Saunders family. Before I introduce Dr. Jackie Moserall, the Dean of RIT Saunders College of Business, I'd like to mention a few Brick City Homecoming events that I hope you'll consider attending this weekend as well as in-person events happening on campus in the coming weeks. Event details and registration can be found at the hyperlink posted in the chat. First, the RIT Honors Program alumni are, welcoming, uh, are welcome to join Assistant Director of Honors Program, Kerry Bondi at the Honors Alumni Advisory Board for a virtual Brick City Homecoming Brunch on Saturday, October 16th. Burn those competitive calories and join RIT Tigers for a BCH Peloton ride on Saturday, October 17th. Next week, from October 18th to the 22nd, the Simone Center is excited to host Women in Entrepreneurship Week. This is a collaborative movement across over 160 universities and has historically represented women entrepreneurs in as many as 46 states and 32 countries. And finally, the 16th annual RIT Entrepreneurs Conference will be held November 8th to the 12th. Participants will share their innovative stories, techniques, and ideas that have established them as leaders in their respective fields and industries. It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to Dean Moserall. Prior to joining the Saunders College of Business as the Dean, Dr. Moserall served as professor and senior associate dean of the Kate Gleason College of Engineering. She received her Bachelor of Science degree in Industrial Engineering from RIT in 1987 and holds a place in RIT's Athletics Hall of Fame for an outstanding career in soccer. She received a master's degree in Industrial Engineering from North Carolina State University and a PhD in Industrial Engineering from the State University of New York at Buffalo. Dean Moserall is an outstanding leader for a business school that distinguishes itself as one that merges technology, innovation, and world-class business practices. It's my pleasure to introduce Dean Moserall. Thanks, Anthony. I am so excited to be a part of this event that continues to be one of the best traditions of Saunders College of Business. I wanna thank you all for being here and certainly congratulations to our awardees. We are so grateful for your support 
and for being such outstanding representatives of Saunders and RAT. I regret that we can't be together in person to celebrate your accomplishments, the accomplishments of our extraordinary alumni and friends. However, I am really glad that we are able to celebrate virtually. Today's award celebration is really special. We honor four alumni from our human resource development, service leadership and innovation, and hospitality programs. We will also recognize three steadfast supporters of our college. I am consistently impressed by the creativity, innovation, and leadership that our alumni demonstrate in their fields, and I'm grateful for their ongoing engagement and support of our college. You make us better. At Saunders College of Business, a top 100 business school and top five undergraduate business school in New York State, we are certainly on an exciting trajectory. The college is currently celebrating its 111th anniversary. And during the last century, it has grown to four global campuses, more than 2,000 students, and more than 25,000 successful alumni. This past August, we broke ground on a 19 plus million dollar building expansion as part of a $1 billion transforming RIT campaign. We are so excited to transform the applied learning and research environment of our students, faculty, and staff. The expansion and renovations will further enhance interdisciplinary and entrepreneurial collaborations and expand our ability to engage with the Rochester community and beyond. This expansion will nearly double the college's current footprint and it will be complete to welcome our students back in the fall of 2023. The resulting facility will feature student team rooms, applied research and case analysis labs, a wonderful event space and reception hall, a state-of-the-art auditorium, a cafe, so when our students are studying late at night, they have a place to go and get some coffee, outdoor spaces, as well as the renovation of existing classrooms in support of the innovative and student-centered learning environment that we so appreciate at RIT. New event venues will bring distinguished leaders to campus, support regional and national conferences, and serve as learning laboratories for our hospitality-related programs. We have so many people to thank, including our Saunders alumni and friends for making this expansion and renovation possible for our students. So thank you. The alumni we are recognizing today remind us of the commitment that they made as students. They have pursued careers in their programs and have brought recognition to the departments and to the college. We also honor the mentors, professors, staff, classmates, and other alumni who have helped guide and inspire our awardees. The hallmark of RIT and Saunders College of Business has always been those lifelong connections we have built with our alumni. Our proud alumni exemplify RIT and the college's commitment and dedication to experiential learning and academic excellence. Our awardees are local, national, and international, and they are helping to unlock a future of greatness through difference. I'm incredibly proud of the impact that our RET and Saunders College community has made in so many people's lives and in so many different places and in so many different ways. Saunders alumni are truly the backbone of our college. And it is my true pleasure to honor those who inspire others to achieve success in technology, entrepreneurship, and innovation, all in the great tradition of the Saunders spirit. Thank you all and congratulations again. Anthony? Thank you, Jackie. We'll start our ceremony today with the presentation of awards from the Human Resource Development, Service Leadership and Innovation, and hospitality programs. I would like to invite Dr. Torrance Sparkman, Associate Professor in the Department of Management, to kick us off in honoring our outstanding alumni. Thank you, Anthony. Paul Kaczmierski represented the best, the very best elements of human resource professional. 
He was a vibrant personality seeking to involve students in current and future trends within his classroom. Paul was generous with his time and in, his, in advance, often provided career advice to students, faculty, and staff. His career at RIT and consulting reflected his critical thinking and inquisitive mind. Paul was a leader, establishing the RIT Center for Remedial Reading and applying behavioral principles to develop leadership skills when consulting his clients in business and industry. Dr. Alfreda Brown is our 2020 recipient of the Paul Kaczmierski Award. In May 2021, she retired from Kent State University as Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion after over a decade of service. She was the first person in Kent State University over 100 year history to hold a position. Alfreda came to Kent State after serving at RIT for over two decades, most notably as Interim Chief Diversity Officer. In this role, she was responsible for the design, development, delivery, and impact of initiatives related to diversity and inclusion, and led RIT's development of a strategic diversity plan. She received her doctor, doctorate of education from Nova Scotia, Nova Southeastern University. At RIT, Alfreda earned her master's degree in career and human resources development in 1996 and her associate's degree in applied arts and sciences in 1992. A proud RIT alumna, Alfreda has routinely mentored Saunders students and volunteered as a plan, business plan judge for first year students enrolled. She was also a longtime member of RIT's Women's Council, a philanthropic supporter of RIT. Alfreda has primarily donated to the James Weldon and Lily Cheney Brumfield Scholarships which support students with significant financial need and who embody the ideals of community involvement and civic responsibility. Alfreda, I'd like to read some of the remarks that longtime friend and RIT President Emeritus, Dr. Al Simone wrote about you. Alfreda, you've heard me say before many times to you and others that I'm so proud of who you are, what you've contributed to every organization which you have been a part of, and how much better the community and society at large is because of your commitment, initiative, and efforts. You are the clear-cut embodiment of everything that Dr. Paul Karsimirsky Memorial Award represents and stands for. You have made an important difference in the lives of many people, starting with your children, siblings, and others in your close and wider circles. I strongly suspect that you still have those daily, very early morning, morning phone, phone calls before work day begins with your close family members. You work so hard raising your children while first secretary and then assistant to the Dean of the College of Engineering Technology at RIT, where I first came to know you in 1992. While working full time in the college, you managed to earn your associate's degree at RIT. Then in 1993, you became the first chairperson of the newly formed staff council where I really came to know you. In the years that followed, you earned your bachelor's degree at Roberts Wesleyan and a master's degree at RIT. When I needed a chair following the initial chair for the commission promoting pluralism, there you were. And then your doctor of education degree at Nova Southeastern University followed that. I could go on and on since I've been following your significant accomplishments at Kent State. Suffice it to say, Congratulations for the local and national recognitions that you have received. Thank you for all your contributions to the academia and society. And may you, Lawrence, and your children have many happy days ahead. I've never been prouder or more appreciative of any colleague with whom I've had the pleasure to work with over the many years. Finally, take a breath, catch up on all that reading and traveling that you've been postponing and have some well-deserved fun, Al. I'd now like to introduce our 2020 Paul Karsmierski Memorial Award recipient, Dr. Alfreda Brown, to offer a few remarks. I'm just very happy. Um, very happy about this. I was surprised um, when I got the call and talked about this. I, I just 
don't know what to say. Um, I do want to start out by, um, I do remember um, Dr. Kaczmierski. And so I, I was thinking about that and I was thinking about um, who he was and what he had done. And um, so I'm, it, it's sort of like some of the same things that I, I think about is working with people. And um, so the dedication um, to the field of human resources is definitely something that I've done throughout my entire career of working. I spent 21 years at RIT and another 11 years at Kent State University, all most of it in the area of diversity, equity, and inclusion. I really thank the person who, who, who nominated me um, uh, is, is Dr. Sparkman. And I really, really appreciate the fact that um, that, that happened as well. So thank you very much. I love RIT. I, I had so many experiences at RIT. And I, I realized that, you know, throughout my uh, career, I, I go back to times that I, I, you know, I learned so much. A lot of it came straight from Dr. Albert Smoke. So I really appreciate who he is and was in my life during that time. So thank you very much for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Congratulations again, Dr. Elfrida Brown. Thank you. I would like to invite Dr. Jennifer Maddock, Associate Professor in the Department of Management, to present our next award. Thank you, Anthony. Our next award is the Richard Maracki Award. Dr. Maracki was the innovator who developed the original Service Management Graduate Degree Program. Dick was a committed faculty member who embraced teaching and mentoring while also building new academic programs at Saunders. Dick championed the interplay of service within business and industry and created the service management and the hospitality and tourism management graduate programs. Dick's leadership and vision within higher education secured the future for these programs at RIT. His vision laid the groundwork for the success of the service management and hospitality and tourism management graduate programs. Dr. Guillermo Greglia is our 2020 recipient of the Richard Maracchi Award. Guillermo is the owner of Greglia Consulting Group, a Peru-based hospitality and tourism consulting firm. Founded in 2017, Greglia Consulting primarily conducts research and feasibility studies for small and medium-sized hospitality companies to determine their impact within the hospitality and tourism sectors. Prior to starting his own consulting firm, he served eight years as Dean of St. Ignatius of Loyola University's College of Hotel Management, Tourism and Gastronomy. And before that, he spent over a decade as director of Pontificia Universidad Católica Madre y Maestras School of Hotel Management. A proud RIT alumnus, Guillermo has also mentored Saunders College of Business students and volunteered as a business plan judge for first year students. Guillermo earned his master's degree in service leadership and innovation in 2001 from RIT. I'd now like to introduce our 2020 Richard F. Maracchi Memorial Award recipient Dr. Guillermo Graglia to offer a few remarks. Thank you very much, Jennifer, and for your kind words and everybody for uh, considering me for this uh, special and unique award for the school. Uh, since my first days in, in RIT, I, I heard about uh, Professor Morecki and all the stories and, and he's such a legend at RIT that I was really uh, surprised and really honored when I was in a, informed that I, was, that I was getting this, this award. Um, I'm very proud of RIT, of all my time uh, there. Uh, I'm still being, I still feel like being there. Um, I'm really grateful to all, all the professors and all the staff and all the friends I have around there that always, always uh, make me feel like at home. Every time I travel quite a long kilometers just to have classes and share time with you guys. So um, th this award just make me 
much more committed to to go on and to continue working towards uh, Professor Mariki legacy. So thank you very much. I hold this very close to my heart. And I'm really, it's kind of an emotional moment. And thank you very much again for just having me closer to you guys. Thank you very much. Congratulations again, Guillermo. I would like to invite Dr. Rick Legeski, Assistant Professor in the Department of International Hospitality and Service Innovation to present our next two awards. Fantastic, thanks, Anthony. I am honored to present the Women's Leadership and Hospitality Award this evening to Fader Fellow. This award was initiated in 2015 to recognize women who demonstrate significant leadership and hospitality related careers and are role models for the Saunders students who are women. Phaedra has over 20 years of marketing and business development experience with the food service and consumer brands industry. Since 2017, she has served on the American Egg Board, a checkoff marketing organization funded by egg producers with the mission of promoting eggs and egg products. There she serves as the director of food chain outreach and international. From 2014 to 2017, Federer was the Senior Global Marketing Manager for Newlyweds Foods, a culinary ingredient manufacturer of customized breadings, batters, and seasonings. Her career also includes senior roles at Maple Leaf Foods, Schwann Foods, Mars, and the Kraft Heinz Company, among others. Federer is a two-time alumna of RIT earning a bachelor's degree in food marketing and distribution in 1992, and a master's degree in hospitality and tourism management in 1994. She is currently a member of the university's hospitality and tourism management advisory board, and recently participated in a FRAM critical thinking panel event. A proud alumna, Phaedra has attended numerous RIT hosted events over the years and philanthropically supported multiple initiatives on the campus, including the Saunders College of Business, the Hospitality and Tourism Management Program, and the Ritz Dinner, where she served as the 2011 Honorary Chair. I'd now like to introduce our 2020 Women's Leader in Hospitality Award recipient, Phaedra Raffaello, to offer a few remarks. Phaedra, congratulations. Thank you so much, Rick. Uh, I really appreciate it, my friend. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I am so humbled and surprised and honored to receive this award from the school that was my North Star, my career path. Uh, when I speak to colleagues today and mention the involvement that I have with RIT, even years after my career, uh, after my college career, they're amazed on how I'm connected with so many friends and professors still. It, that in itself is a testament to the quality of learning and the opportunities that I received at RIT. RIT is just not a school, but it's a foundation that helps feed our curiosity and build skills on combining processes, operations, theory, collaboration to become future leaders in whatever we choose to do. When I was investigating universities, RIT checked all the boxes for me instantaneously. The moment I stepped on campus, I could sense the campus would be the right fit for my future growth. Growing up with entrepreneurs, I saw an environment that had a global focus and was anchored in innovative ideas and critical thinking. Within the hospitality program, I was able to understand vast areas of the industry that helped me pave ways into, the, into my career. I changed major slightly. I started off in hotel, went to food management, and then was one of the first three uh, students in food marketing and distribution, but stayed in that college because of passion for the industry, the professors, and how the school continued to evolve to make sure their students were prepared for the world. Of those professors and staff, I first have to acknowledge the leadership of our dean at that time, Dr. Francis Des Moines. He led with grace, passion, true grit, and warmth that inspired us to continue growing and foster community of collaboration. He was a true visionary and globalist to help expand RIT's education across the world. From Warren Sackler, Dave Crum, Barbara Sirio, Dr. Whitlock, Diane Summers, and Jane Downs, their guidance, love for the industry and just showing students how much they valued each of us and building a great team was just a huge, 
wonderful place to be a part of and learn from. Another mention to a professor that helped shape my education was Dr. Jim Myers. From my freshman year, his love for the industry and continuing to challenge us with innovative, innovative approaches helped us learn how to be flexible and change with uh, change and bring teams together for a collective win. One of those uh, memories that I have of him pulling all of us together and building teams was taking us to an outward bound barn called the Red Barn. And the entire class went there and we all, one of the exercises we had to lean back, someone had to stand from a second level and lean backwards and be caught by all of their team members. I had shaky legs as many others, but we all did it. And what resulted was a fantastic team. And we ended up, that class was the team that actually managed Henry's and was one of the top generating classes of Henry's restaurants uh, of that time. So definitely building that trust with the team players, with all of your team members really showed the importance and, and then giving us an opportunity to lead in that area. We, it was a very awesome, wonderful time. Um, I just want to really thank also my friend and fellow student, Dr. Rick Lazinski for nominating me for this honor. Seeing you continue with the same passion, grit and warmth for our, from, that our former professors gave us makes me proud and extremely excited for the next generation of our IT alums. So thank you again for this great honor and I will cherish it. And here it is, I got it right by me. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations, Fabian. And thanks for the kind words. For our next award, I'm honored to present the Sarah Margaret Gillum Award to Mark Zettel. The Sarah Margaret Gillum Award is the oldest and most prestigious award given by the Department of International Hospitality and Service Innovation. This award is given to an alumnus or alumna who is dedicated to excellence and has distinguished themselves in a significant way in their hospitality career. This award was endowed by Grant Gillum in honor of his sister, alumna Sarah Margaret Gillum, a 1916 graduate of the Mechanics Institute. President and member of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, Sarah Margaret Gillum was the RIT outstanding alumna in 1967. Again, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce the 2020 Sarah Margaret Gillum Award winner, Mark Zettel. Mark is a hospitality and real estate operations executive with over 30 years of experience. He currently serves as the president of property management at Jones Lang LaSalle, better known as JLL, a commercial real estate services firm specializing in real estate and investment management. With over 16 billion in annual revenue, JLL is the second largest commercial real estate services firm in the world. As president, he oversees all management initiatives for JLL's 350 million plus square foot North American real estate portfolio. Prior to joining JLL in January 2018, he served three years as the COO of Waterton, a January, I'm sorry, COO of Waterton, a real estate investment and operations firm specializing in acquiring multifamily and hotel properties in the US. Mark earned a bachelor's degree in hotel and resort management from RIT in 1996 and is currently a member of the university's hospitality and tourism management advisory board. A strong advocate for RIT, Mark facilitated a major gift from JLL in 2021 to establish the Jones Lang LaSalle Research Support Fund which currently provides support to a PhD student conducting research in augmented reality applications within the real estate industry. Mark himself is a philanthropic supporter of RIT's hospitality and tourism management program. Unfortunately, Mark is not able to join us this evening, but did provide a pre-recorded video message. I'd now like to introduce our 2020 Sarah Margaret Gillum Award recipient, Mark Zell, to say a few words over video. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mark Suttle. 
president of property management for JLL. We're a global real estate uh, investment firm. Um, thank you for this opportunity today, and it's such an honor to be winning the Sarah Gillum Award. Um, RIT and basically changed my life. Uh, first and foremost, I met my partner for 27 years, my wife Tracy and I, uh, met at a class that uh, was canceled, uh, Leadership Executive Development, over 30 years ago. And it has basically been an extraordinary, extraordinary journey um, going forward. Um, we have done so many great things at JLL, but the foundation of everything that I have been able to achieve throughout my career is because of RIT. Um, currently, we manage over 3,000 properties across the United States. That includes office, retail, industrial, and other businesses. And if you think a hospitality major graduate can basically do that throughout his career, it is a, it's a testament to what RIT brought to the table for me. And I can't thank you enough. I am honored. I would love to continue to partner with, with uh, RIT and their faculty and their amazing staff. And uh, with that, uh, I'd like to turn it over to the next award uh, recipient. Thank you. Congratulations again, Mark, Phaedra, Alfreda, and Guillermo. Thank you for being generous supporters and outstanding representatives of the Saunders College of Business. Next, we'll honor our college awardees, starting with the 2020 Saunders College of Business Outstanding Alumni Volunteer Award, which I am honored to present to Stacy Lake, a two-time Saunders College of Business alumna. Stacy is the Corporate Communications Manager of Bergman, an award-winning architecture and engineering firm. In this role, she leads the Corporate Marketing and Communications team, which is responsible for implementing the firm's national growth strategies and progressing internal communications. In 2020, she became a key member of Bergman's COVID-19 preparedness team, overseeing all communications throughout the pandemic. She previously served as a senior account executive at Brand Integrity from 2015 until 2018, at which point the company was acquired by Reward Gateway, and she transitioned into the role of client success manager and launch specialist. Stacy served in that capacity until joining Bergman in 2019. Prior to Brand Integrity and Reward Gateway, Stacy spent six years at Dixon Schwabel, ultimately serving as Vice President of Account Services and the strategic contact for over a dozen accounts in the telecommunications, professional services, food and beverage, and sports and entertainment industries. Department of Management Associate Professor Michael Plansky captures Stacy's steadfast commitment to Saunders in this heartfelt message. I jokingly said that Stacy is Ms. SCB, but the more I thought about it, the more I believe that this is an accurate title. Stacy is tireless about helping the college in any way and every way she can. Chair of Saunders Alumni Board, check. Guest speaker, check. Mentor, check. Instagram takeover MC, check. Student open houses, check. Research collaborator, check. Faculty reality checker when we need to get our heads out of the clouds, check. Rumor has it she even valet parked Phil Saunders' car once. Check. Stacy is a pillar of the Saunders community, a caring alum, and a good friend to many of us. Department of Management Principal Lecturer John Ward also shares Michael's sentiment. Stacy has always been committed to giving back to Saunders and RIT by sharing her experience, knowledge, and advice with students. She's been involved in providing coaching to our freshman students as a business plan judge and a mentor for many years. The students really appreciate her thoughts on everything from finding the right career fit to building a solid network. She always gives students honest and constructive feedback, which they really appreciate. Last year, I had Stacy in to speak to the EMBA students in their marketing course. Once again, Stacy had a great session with these business executives and provided them tremendous insight into marketing on both the agency and client side. She really does a great job adapting her message and connecting at all levels. If we're lucky, Stacy will decide she wants to teach down the line sometime. We are very fortunate to have someone with Stacy's depth of experience and willingness to give back to the students as part of the Saunders family. 
Stacy is currently an executive member of the Saunders Dean's Council and Advisory Board, has volunteered at dozens of RIT hosted events, and regularly mentors RIT students to help them realize their career potential. She is also a proud and consistent philanthropic supporter of Saunders and RIT. I'd now like to introduce our 2020 Outstanding Alumni Volunteer Award recipient, Stacy Lake, to offer a few remarks. Wow, um, Anthony, thank you so much. I'm completely overwhelmed. I thank you to Mike and to John um, for such kind words. I'm, I'm very overwhelmed right now. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, Saunders makes it easy to want to be involved, to want to be giving back consistently. And I thank all of the folks who've spoken so far. I thank Dean Mosrell and everyone here. It's really an honor to be among this group. Um, I'll keep this short, but I do want to be sure that I genuinely share what this means to me. And I apologize. I feel like I'm going to get a little emotional now, especially after that lead in. Um, acknowledgement like this is not why I or why I imagine any of my fellow honorees here today um, put RAT at the top of my list for support and involvement. Since the day I set foot on campus in, 20, in 2000 for a tour, um, RAT has held a special place for me. In fact, it's actually been ingrained in my blood, and I'll explain in a minute why that is. Um, first, RET became my home away from home for five years and across two degrees because of my late mother, Jill Kurtz. She graduated from RIT in the 70s with a degree in graphic design. And I heard so many stories about her time at RIT from her time in the dark room where she discovered her passion for photography um, to sneaking into the Clark gym late at night to play broom ball. I'm sure that's not all they were doing. She didn't elaborate. Um, to, you know, spending quality time at the Red Creek, just the social aspects and the learning. Um, it was really ingrained in me. And she is the reason why I considered RIT in the first place. And I have so many incredible memories attending RIT events, including Brick City with my mother. So giving back to RIT helps me continue to fill that connection with her. And I thank Saunders for the opportunity to stay involved because it helps me keep her memory alive. And this college was really the launch pad for my career. Saunders really truly was. I walked through those doors freshman year and I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I knew it involved business. Marketing seemed like a really cool concept. So I dove in and it was really through the incredible faculty and staff at Saunders. Um, I'll name a few, but there's really too many to name. During my time as an active student, Peggy Terrell, Dr. Phil Tyler, Dr. Hull, Lorraine Hems, who I saw commenting earlier, um, fun fact, Wines of the World helped get me my first job out of college. So thank you to Lorraine. Um, and there are just, just so many others. And through all of them, I really found my path. They helped me apply critical thinking. They helped me adopt marketing strategies, hone my skill for communicating. They helped me expand my horizons and my worldview beyond my small, small, small hometown in Southern Pennsylvania. And I learned so much about inclusion and accepting others and new ideas that I don't know that I would have gotten had I stayed at another college somewhere in Pennsylvania or elsewhere. RIT really is incredible in that aspect. Um, so I also met incredible alumni who inspired me to, to carve out a new path for myself. I had no idea where my path would lead me in the world of wine, employee engagement, leadership coaching, marketing. It's been a wild ride and it's really because of Saunders. And that's why I stay involved because I wanna give back and I wanna pass that along. And I hope I've done that in some capacity. Um, nothing makes me happier than seeing the growth of this campus and this amazing Saunders College. I have to say there's no other college that really deserves this expansion that Dean Mosrell mentioned earlier more than Saunders. It's just incredible. Um, and, and nothing makes me happier than staying connected with other alumni and with the students and the graduates and seeing them go on to conquer the world. Um, I just got a text the other day from Alexandra Myers. Um, some of you might know her. I don't know if she's on here. If she is, Alex, hi. Um, she texted me asking for some advice as she was changing careers. And it's people like her. I see her growing in her career and I see her taking on the world. And, um, and that's why we all do this, right? To help each other out and give each other a springboard. So Saunders graduates go on to change the world. We've seen that with everyone here today. And um, I, I want to hang on to that. And I want everyone else to find ways to pass that along as well, because we all have our own unique experiences. So with that, thank you. Thank you again to Anthony, to Michael, to John, to Jackie, Sally Haig, Bill Sackman, 
Corinne, everyone who's involved in alumni relations. Um, you're doing incredible work and I just thank you for helping make it easy to stay connected and to give back. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Congrats again, Stacy. Well deserved. Next, we are presenting the Outstanding Faculty Award to Dr. Erhan Mergen. Erhan's commitment to Saunders College of Business students, alumni, and colleagues is unwavering. He has been teaching at Saunders since 1984 and currently teaches both graduate and undergraduate courses in quality control, operations management, and quantitative methods. His main areas of research are statistical quality control and applications of quantitative techniques used in production and operations management. A published scholar, his research papers have appeared in several notable academic journals, including the Journal of Applied Statistics, Quality and Reliability Engineering, Quality Engineering, Quality, Total Quality Management, and Simulation and Gaming. Erhan has forged lasting connections with Saunders alumni. He regularly keeps in touch with them. And when they come back to campus, they are sure to schedule a visit with him, which speaks to his excellence in teaching. Saunders class of 1999, MBA alumnus Harsh Gupta credits Erhan with his success. Dr. Mergen has played a very special part in my career, probably about which he is not fully aware. I joined the MBA program at RIT in fall 1997. Coming from India, we had to take undergraduate courses in the first two quarters to get the desired credits to shift to an MBA. I was one of two students from India who took manufacturing management as their major. The rest were focused on finance and marketing. Our start was rough as the new concepts in manufacturing and quality control were not known to us. Other students already had more work experience. SPC was the flavor of the season, and it was not easy. Now we think of it and laugh, but it was very new at the time. Dr. Mergen had a lot of patience with us. We never felt any less in his class from other working professionals. He made sure we understood all concepts and helped us understand all that was being taught. Most importantly, I never felt that a professor of his stature was ever unapproachable. This course with Dr. Mergen became a strong foundation for me to build on. Armed with the new tools, I was able to reduce the rejection rates in my factories by more than 90%. The concept of calculating scrap as a percentage was replaced by SPC tools. Thank you, Dr. Mergen, for all your efforts. It's clear, Ahran, your steadfast commitment to student success is what makes Saunders College of Business stand out. I would like to present the Saunders College Outstanding Faculty Award to Dr. Erhan Mergen. Well, thank you, Anthony. I'm overwhelmed with the nice words that I heard uh, from my ex-student. Um, first of all, I would like to give my sincere thanks to those uh, who nominated me and supported me for this award. I am humbled and, and honored. During my career at RIT, I've tried to make a difference on life of many students by teaching them, mentoring them, helping them to get jobs sometimes, providing uh, them reference letters for their graduate work, job application, etc. It's always very rewarding to hear when students say how they benefited from what they learn in my courses. I appreciate getting this award. It means a lot to me. Uh, not sure whether he's in the audience, but I'd like, I'd like to also give special thanks and appreciation to Dr. Tom Williams, uh, who was the chairperson of Decision Sciences Department in Saunders College back in 1980s, who hired me and supported me during my early years at RIT. Uh, some of you may not know this, but Tom was also the pioneer of our very successful major management information system, which is now nationally ranked. So thank you, Tom, for believing in me and supporting me. Um, again, thank you for all this, for this award. I will cherish it for the rest of my life. Thank you. Congrats again, Erhan. Thank you. 
Our final award this afternoon is the Phil Saunders Cornerstone of Philanthropy Award. This award is presented to an RIT graduate or friend who exemplifies the spirit of innovation and gives selflessly to the Saunders College of Business and RIT. There is no one more suited for this award than Charlie Brown. Now retired, Charlie is an experienced corporate executive and management consultant in both the for-profit and not-for-profit worlds. He currently consults senior executives at firms through C.S. Brown Consulting and the Executive Service Corps of the Triangle. He previously served as the inaugural Executive Director of the Rochester Area Colleges Center for Excellence in Math and Science. He began his career at Eastman Kodak Company in 1973 as a process engineer and was promoted to a number of leadership roles ultimately serving as their senior vice president and chief administrative officer. Charlie is a 1979 MBA alumnus of the Saunders College of Business. He joined RIT's board of trustees in 2004 and has served on the education committee. He has philanthropically supported the creation of multiple endowed funds for the Saunders Honors Program and fully funds the transformational annual trip where honors students are able to visit companies and alumni give presentations, and network. Saunders College of Business Director of Student Services, Peter Rosenthal, cannot thank Charlie enough for his unwavering support of Saunders students. Charlie Brown's support of dozens of Saunders students in the RIT Honors Program over so many years has truly been multifaceted. He has not been a behind the scenes benefactor, but rather has enjoyed getting to know students and promoting their engagement both within and beyond Saunders. Charlie has enabled students to pay modest out-of-pocket fees to participate in business trips to these and other cities around the world, including Atlanta, Chicago, Dallas, Dubai, Dublin, Los Angeles, London, New York, San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle, and Toronto. He joined in student presentations after each business trip challenging the students to reflect on what they learned and encouraging them to determine how to take advantage of their new travel experiences going forward. Charlie participated in lunch, dinner, and other discussions with students, sharing insights he gained during his career and providing feedback to the students on their plans and activities. And Charlie provided students in more recent years with the opportunity to undertake paid international research with Saunders professors. Thank you, Charlie for all that you do for Saunders and its students. Charlie most recently made a gift in support of the Saunders Transformation Fund to name the Charles S. Class of 79 and Renee A. Brown Applied Research Collaboratory. In recognition of his successful career, Charlie received the Saunders College of Business Distinguished Alumni Award in 2007. On behalf of the Saunders College alumni, we are proud to present the Phil Saunders Cornerstone of Philanthropy Award to Charlie Brown. Thank you very much, Anthony. I find this a very humbling experience to be standing here being presented an award in recognition of Renee's and my commitment to philanthropy at RIT with the guy who is the model of philanthropic behavior for whom the award is named and was likely to be in attendance today. So what do I say? What a daunting challenge, but here goes. In my education and my career, I have been privileged in many ways. I grew up in a family that believed in giving back. I was educated by a faculty that gave back to their students. And I had a 33 year career working for a values-based company that supported the global working for a global community by giving back. I see personal philanthropy as not an end in itself, but rather a journey. So I challenge all of us, whether a current student, a recent graduate, or a lifetime alumnus, to think about how each of us have benefited from our RIT relationship and to give back to all who can benefit now from our personal philanthropic journey. Thanks again. Congratulations, Charlie.
and congratulations to all of today's awardees. We are humbled by your accomplishments and honored to count you as part of the Saunders family. I'll leave you with one final thought. There is an enormous amount of experience and know-how in our program this afternoon. Think about how your engagement with RIT can push our students and programs forward. We're lucky to have you as alumni, faculty, staff members, and corporate partners. I hope you'll continue on this journey with us as we create the absolute best opportunities for our students. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we hope you take part in the remaining virtual Brick City Homecoming alumni programming. Thank you, and go Tigers. Thank you, Anthony, for being such a great MC this afternoon. And thank you to everyone who tuned in, gave congrats in the chat box, and celebrated with us this incredible slate of Saunders College of Business awardees. That will conclude our presentation this afternoon. Congratulations again to our awardees, and thank you to our speakers. I hope all of you near and far have a fabulous Brick City homecoming weekend filled with tiger spirit. And as always, go Tigers.